Well, hello, 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 and welcome. Thank you for coming to join us this evening. I'm Eve with The Baby's Booty, and tonight we're going to talk about bling again. Why? Why are we talking about bling? Oh, my gosh. Just bling this, bling that. Well, dag nabbit. If you was in Patrice's live tonight, you'll see why we saying bling everything in sight, man. Her jacket was fire. Oh, my God. It looks so good. So, anyways. We are going to talk about bling again tonight because the buy-in is going on right now. But guess what, y'all? It's about to end tonight. It's going to be the end of this one for this go-round. But fear not, we have another one next month. But for the time being, credible things been a move between us. Woo! Hello. We like them green messages in the chat. Thank you, Patrice. Oh, my God, we love you. So at any rate, we want to welcome you all here. Um, we are going to have a bling beginner bling friendly session tonight. Okay. We have made bling so stinking easy for you. And we are going to go through the steps. And I'm going to show you what all that involves. Okay. We're even going to incorporate a little bit of cricket for you cricket users. All righty. And then we are going to drop a bombshell on you are you ready are you ready for a bombshell oh my god like really oh my god actually we got a couple of announcements but one is a pretty big one so hang tight hang on to your seats because that's going to come a little bit later in the show but first we want to help you lovely beginners because we are getting messages and seeing messages in the chat of so many people who have purchased rhinestones and haven't used them yet. And we was like, what, what the ham sandwich, man? Why? Why are you not using them? Like they're sitting there, they're pretty, and yeah, they're pretty, but why aren't you using them? So we want to help you out with that, okay? Um, so also we have some super adorbs designs given to us well not given to us but offered to our group exclusively by the rhinestone mechanic and dennis is in the chat tonight in traveling please travel safely sir um and so we're going to take a look at those here in a little bit as well and y'all a heifer been over here doing her rhinestone design the fizzle ooh, 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 ooh. i'm so excited so excited because usually I now if you go back and watch my videos and if you took any of my beginners classes when I was live, I told y'all I ain't like to do no rhinestone design. Ain't nobody got time to be moving all them little stupid dots all over the darn place trying to get a picture to come out right and pictures ain't coming to rise. Fam, you gotta get a good teacher though. You gotta get a good teacher. Cause see, when I teach my rhinestone class, my beginner's rhinestone class, which the link is in the description below. So my beginner's rhinestone class everybody needs it okay and it's not because i just want you to take the class it's because you there's knowledge that you need to have fam i mean i'm just saying like if your customer comes to you if you're trying to sell stones or 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 you don't even have to sell them if you're like i want to do rhinestone shirts one of the number one questions that i get on my instant message when people go into the store they're like um how do i know how many rhinestones i get Fam, two things. Number one, there's a picture on every listing of rhinestones that tells you how to calculate how many stones. And it tells you this is that many stones and this is that many stones. But number two, if you took the class, you would know. You would already know that. You would already know what kind of rhinestones you're getting. You would already know what good those rhinestones will do for you, what size to get, blah. You would have known all that. If you took the beginner's class. Now that's my beginner's class. It just covers the basics of rhinestoning, gives you that expert intel on doing rhinestoning. Then Patrice with craftable things, she does a beginner's class teaching you how to create your own rhinestone designs. I felt hopeless. There was no way to teach me that because I just didn't want to do it. I don't care what you said to me, but after taking her class a couple of times, but after taking her class, <laughs> A heifer is out here selling rhinestone designs. Man, what? 
Yes, I is, girl. Yes, I is. So, I mean, why leave money on the table? I'm just saying, why not sign up for Patrice's class? I think she said she's doing one next weekend. We're going to see. Sign up for her class. Make that money. You don't have to. Fam, I was sitting here in my dress. Well, you don't need to know all of that. In my dress. In my dress. That's what I was going to say. But I was sitting here making rhinestone designs, listening to my jammy jams, my rock out music, sipping on some coffee because my husband had an Arctic Tundra in here, bundled up head to toe, but I was doing rhinestone designs and they're super cute. And we're going to look at those tonight. So that's what's on the agenda. Uh, let's go back down the line. We're going to look at easy rhinestone, teach you step by step and show you how to get these, these designs into Cricut and cut them out for those of you who have Cricut. We are also going to um, look at the rhinestone mechanics designs. We're going to look at some designs I created and we're going to, what was it again? Oh yeah, drop a bombshell. <laughs> so exciting. And y'all know I can't keep a secret. I, I just, I can't keep a secret. But anyway, let's get to the chat because I'm already late for the chat. And I like to say hi to the folks that's in here. And I know that some folks come in here and they're like, oh my God, she do all this talking and she do all that hay and stuff. But guess what? I wouldn't have a channel if it wasn't for these folks who like hollering at a heifer in the chat. I'm just saying. So why would I not say, hey, at least try, make an effort. I'm just saying, if you like when I say hey to you in the chat, drop a heart. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Let these haters know that we's a family and we speak because mama taught me better okay she did not raise an ungrateful bumpkin she she raised a nice courteous young lady so definitely drop some hearts so that folks know we are cultured okay not uncultured swine all right so shirley dabney hey shirley dabney welcome thank you for joining us tonight and thank you for being a youtube who group member we appreciate you Jennifer Hancock is here. Bonita Neely is here. Nick Nack Nurse is here. Dennis Cheatham is here. Tierra Cottrell is here. Hey, y'all. Welcome. Oh, I can't say hey, y'all. That's my girl. So what up, y'all? Hey, how y'all doing? Then we got Ernique Sessler. Hey, Ernique. Welcome. How the girls? Hope they're doing good. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member. And we're going to count them as members, too. They're honorary members. So <laughs> they already get that. Uh, we got time. You what's up? Yo, hey girl, how you doing? I cannot wait. Are you coming to the Blink Fest? I think you are. I cannot wait to hang with you again. I love Tanya, y'all. She is a whole mood. I mean, just like I aspire to be like her on a daily basis. I mean, she's just amazing. Lucille Boinkins, hello, Dempsey Boo. Hey, Dempsey Boo. And then we got Tracy Murray, the Murray Effects. Welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. And we got EJ's daughter. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member. We got Carol Coleman. Hey, honey. Welcome. Tell the baby I said hey. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member. We got Precious Pieces. Hey, Precious Pieces. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Gail McGinnis. Welcome. Miss 143. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member. Miss JB, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Then we also have Patricia Johnson. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We got Unbiased LLC. Hey, honey. Hey, queen. What's up? How are you? AJ Harris. Hey, girl. You know, I like to use new tape, not like other people. So, you know, we buddies. <laughs> Breezy. What up, Breezy? Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Sylvia Dinkins. Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Miss Linda Gray, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We got Porgy Town, welcome. And then, of course, we got to say, hey, Sheila Cushenberry, welcome. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. And you know what I just thought of, Sheila? I probably should have just cut the heat press on, since I got to cut it on anyway. And I would have warmed up in here, but I didn't think of that at the time, so I was just in his suffering, girl. I swear for God. LaShawn71, welcome. Nini, welcome. Twana J, welcome. Mocha Crochet and Crafts, love that. Welcome. Just rolls off the tongue, girl. That's a good name. Good name. LaShonda Rice, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Let me make sure I didn't miss anybody. Okay, let me go back. Nidia Hall, hey, honey, welcome. Raylene Hillhouse, welcome. Janet Jordan, welcome. Sherelle Green, welcome. Thank you for joining us, all of you. Beverly Smith, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I appreciate it. Zelda Ivy, thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. 
always a pleasure. Anita Omer, welcome. Robin Gibbs, welcome. Dawn DIY Flavor Chef, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. EJ's daughter says, love you and the knowledge you provide. You've learned so much for 33 months. That's some support right there, y'all. Holla! Yes, honey! 33! Ooh, to be 33 again. Mm-hmm. Well, Heffa was on and popping at 33. Yes, she was. But anyway. Um, Kingsbury Crafts. Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Deb Curran from Down Under. Welcome. Run from the spiders, girl. <laughs> Rough on them spiders. Welcome, Lisa Buenquesco. I'm sorry, don't I'm, I apologize. I tried, I really did. Lisa B, what up, girl? Welcome, Karen Murray. Welcome, Laura E. Welcome, LaJean Designs. Welcome to be young, gifted, and black. Welcome, Mary Brown. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop group member. I appreciate you, Dempsey Boo. CJ Spice, Jesse Gibson, Martha Jordan. I love it. So many beautiful people. Absolutely love it. And I'm going to scroll down because I need to see all of these purple hearts that I know or hearts that's in the chat because I see those hearts in the chat and I see them. Y'all know we cultured around here. Holler. All right, y'all. So let's get into it. Where should you get that bell from? So we do have the bell. Now I need to apologize um, off gate. Uh, Jasmine B, honey. So your girl is a whole hot mess. You know what I'm saying? Like I have several health issues, but I'm just not about to use that as an excuse. What I'm about to tell you is the ADHD thing is like real strong and always has been. So like I don't always have stuff together. And so like I do have a link to my website. You can go to, if you're a member, let's see, are you a member yet? Okay, not a member of the YouTube channel. Like your name has to be in green. If your name's in green, you click the link on the website. Matter of fact, let's walk y'all through these here steps. Let's walk y'all through these here steps. Might as well show you because <laughs> I'm sure it's easier if you see instead of me just telling you. All right, so let's go entire screen. And this is our website. So this is thebabiesbooty.com. Thebabiesbooty.com. And if you go here, you can actually get to our store, our buy-in by clicking right here. But if you are a member on YouTube, let me see. Let me show you something. Let me show you. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to share this part of my screen with you. You see this? This is this is the back door to my stream yard, how I'm controlling my live show. And see how some of these folks' names is in green and they got little member thingies by their name? They're members here on YouTube. So when I'm like, oh, thank you for being a member here on YouTube, we reach it. That's what we're saying. Like they pay something per month to be a member. And I'm so grateful to them. Very. So one of their perks, they can come here to our website and click on bell request. And it takes you to this form where you put your first name, you put your last name, you put your email so that I know who to address the package to. <laughs> I'm not selling your information to anybody. Trust me. I just need to know who to send the package to, right? YouTube username. Folks, y'all, oh my God, it's not hard. Your YouTube username is when you're typing in the chat here on YouTube, whatever name comes up above your chat, that's your YouTube username. That's what I'm asking for. I'm not asking for your name again. I'm asking for what your name is on YouTube because what I do is I take this list, your request, and I cross-reference it to the YouTube members here on the channel. And if you're a member, then you get a bell sent to you. If you're not a member, you're not going to get a bell sent to you. But I am going to preface that by saying, you know, a heifer kind of is behind on sending out bells because I got the, I got the, look, let me show you what these bells are. Let me show you. So this is, this is an example of one of the bells that I send out. It's got McQuackens on it, Sir McQuackens. It's got, we hoop as a group. Because that was our original logo. I mean, yeah, logo, motto. And then each bell is, I have a little message in there for each bell. And then each bell is signed and it has a number to it. Every bell is numbered. So at some point, every so often, I sit in front of me with a big batch of bells. And I go through and hand sign and do each and every one of those bells. 
a help is behind on doing that because that takes time. <clears throat> so if you want a bell, you be a member. I'll send you a bell. Don't hold your breath for the bell, but I will get the bell out to you. I promise. It's just, it might take me a minute. Okay. So let's go back to share screen because I also want to show you the designs that Mr. Rhinestone Mechanic has so graciously graced us with, right? So if you go to the rhinestonemechanic.com or click the link in the description, it is down below, then you will come to his main page. If you scroll down, well, actually his link will take you directly to our area of his website. But if you forget and you just remember mechanic, it's mechanic something, it's rhinestone mechanic, okay? Because he fixes rhinestones for us, all right? fixes up rhinestones for it. So right here where it says the baby's booty, you click there, it'll take you to our whole section. And if you go to latest, look at the designs he did this week. Y'all, they're so cute. Look at the little gnome. Look at the little gnome. The little gnome is super cute. Let's click on him because he's adorable. Look at him. Just look at him face. You can't see his face. Look at him nose and head and him holding an acorn. It's adorable. So we've got a gnome. We got, let's see, what else do we have? A teddy with him scarf on. It's, it's so adorable. It's making me cry. And then we got peace, love, fall. And then another piece, little fall. These are bonus. There's a bonus because it comes with two designs technically. We got game day. We got the dinosaur. We got sweater weather. And then cancer picked the wrong chick. Breast cancer survivor. I love this. That's super cute. And then there's a mystery box. Ooh. Mystery box. He has designs in there for two bucks. Okay. The rest of these are five, but they're $5 for 24 hours only. Then after that, they go up to their regular price. So if you're in here tonight, you might want to snatch whatever these designs, if not all of them, and get you a good deal, especially with this $2 bonus mystery box, okay? So definitely check that out. Absolutely love his designs. They all cut beautifully. Speaking of which, that's the whole purpose of our show tonight, all right? So can you link the website? The gnome is on. Yes, I can. It is... Let's see. Let me grab it out of the description because that's the easiest way for me to link it. That way I know where is it. There it is. Let's link because it's a small link if I can link it right here. All righty. Let's close that out. And here we go. That is the link to his designs. Okay. So let me make sure. Excellent Dreams said, I love rhinestone designs. I know Excellent Dreams does rhinestone designs as well. Beautiful designs, big, beautiful designs, actually. Hey, Genie M. Um, let's see, make sure I'm not missing any questions. Okay, so let's make this easy for you guys. Let's make it easy because sometimes it's you're like, I got this template, I got this design, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know how to cut it. It just doesn't make sense. Okay. So let's make some sense of it real quick because. I've been doing rhinestone designs, rhinestone designs. I've been doing rhinestones rather for hmm, seven years now, roughly six, seven years, whatever. No, seven. I've been on YouTube seven. So been doing rhinestones about five and a half years. And it's been a journey. Like it's so much easier now than what it was. So we are going to show you just how far we've come with rhinestones because designers used to make their rhinestone designs and they were not cricket friendly. Like you had to, we had to figure out how to make it cricket, cricket friendly, but it's cricket friendly now. So let us go and pull up a design. Now I've been busting my tail making designs lately. So let's take a look at one of mine. So I'm going to show you, let's open it up in silhouette first so that you can see what we're looking at and then i can help you make sense of it a little bit and then show you how to use the design now i learned this from the rhinestone mechanic and i fell in love with how he does his rhinestone designs because it it just made sense and there's a technique to it so we're also going to bling out the design and show you the technique behind it okay so let me import my design and then I'll share the screen because I want to make sure I have the correct 
design. Da, 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 da. We're going to go SS10. Where are you, SS? There you are. Okay. Now, when I tell y'all, a heifer is so super proud of this design that I worked my butt off for, like hand picking separate dots and everything. If y'all don't like this design, I don't even care because, <laughs> sorry, I worked my butt off for it and I know it's cute. All right. So let me share screen. And I'm going to show you the reason why I'm wanting to share this design with you. So this is the design. It's a sunflower. All right. And the sunflower is 8.64 high by 10.205 wide. Okay. Now, I love this design for a couple of reasons. Number one, I love sunflowers. Number two, you can take the green leaves off and just have the sunflower. Um, but this is uh, actually I opened the wrong one. This is one of two versions of this sunflower that I've made. Um, but it's a it's a decent sized design and you can turn it however you want to orient the leaves however you want. They don't have to be up and down. I had to do that first. I had it where they were the leaves were this way, but it was too long. It was wider than 12 inches. So that wouldn't work with Cricut. So I had to angle it. All right. So that's that. But when you open my design for this, you will get this brown box, you will get this yellow box, and you will get this green box, okay? And you probably be like, why is she giving me all this mess? I don't know why she's sitting in all these designs. Okay, time out. Just, just breathe. Breathe, breathe, okay? Just breathe, just breathe, just breathe. Just breathe. Listen, listen, listen to it. All right, so there's a message box over this brown. And I know it's hard to read, so I'm going to move this out of the way. All right. And the message is each square measures nine inches high by 10.65 inches wide. That's these squares here, each color square. Okay. So you have essentially two versions of my design in this one file. You have the whole sunflower sitting right there all by itself. Then you have each section of the sunflower right here, brown, yellow, and green. That's to make it easy for you. Thank you, Mocha, Cro Mocha Crochet and Crafts. Holla! Yes, honey. Yes. That's what's up. So if you, this makes it easy for you to know what colors I chose. But of course, you can use whatever color you want, honey. It's, it's okay. I promise it's okay. You can use whatever color you want. But this is to make it easy for you to know what you're cutting when you go to cut it on Cricut. Because, you know, when you upload this to Cricut, it will actually upload these colors as different layers. All right. These three color boxes are Cricut friendly. These are Cricut friendly files. These three here. This first one, not so much. Because Cricut has done better in recent years. Because I promise you. Years ago, had you uploaded this design in Cricut, it would have took about an hour to upload all of these dots from this flower into Cricut Design Space. So to make it easier, we broke it down and, and set it up for you. Now, somebody will be like, well, why is you wasting all of this flock right here in the middle? Well, that's what we're going to show you when we go to cut the template and why these are set up where everything is the exact same size. We'll show you what that's for and how it makes it easy for you. Okay. We'll go over that. And I teach it in my class. So if you took my class, you already know the answer. See, look at how smart you are because you already took the class. I'm so proud of you. You're just so smart. Just so smart. Can't nobody tell me no different. I just know you super smart. Okay. So when you get this file and you read this message, it tells you you can cut the total design. So you can cut this by just like it is. Don't don't separate it by colors, nothing. Because some people don't want, you might want this to be an all one color design. And, and that's okay. That's your choice, fam. I'm, I'm all right with that. So you can cut it all just like this. Or you can break it up by hitting ungroup. And then it'll break into its individual section see there's the brown there's yeah and you can cut it so that if you want your flock to not be wasted you want to cut these separate you can you can so you can cut it this way 
or you can cut these squares that I've already put together for you. All you gotta do is cut them, okay? So let's see what that looks like with Cricut. This is Silhouette. Silhouette is easy peasy mac and cheese. Oh, wait a minute, you know what? Let me, I'm so excited. Let me show you my other design, y'all. It's so cute. <laughs> It's so cute. Let me see. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll show you. Let's show you the SS6 version. It's so cute, y'all. I work my butt off for this. Let me show you. Let me show you. Hold on. Let me bring it over. Look at it. It's so pretty. Look, I did the little outlines and did this one is four colors. Okay, so this is like an experienced you know, template brusher, but we got you. We making it easy for you. And I'll show you that here in a minute. We already, well, like I said, we got to cut it out first, but look, it's so pretty. I love sunflowers. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay. So we also have, um, let's see. We also have this other design that I just did. We have, um, breast cancer um design and it's pretty so we have this one as well we have an ss10 version and an ss6 version as well patrice i work my butt off all day today making these designs i am so proud of myself i'm just i don't even care i love it i just absolutely love it so here is the other design so what we'll probably do is cut this one instead of the sunflower and there's a reason for it we're gonna make it simple this is two color design it's a two color design. So anybody in here should be able to do it. We'll show you how to do it. And then we we just making it easy for you. That's, that's pretty much how that's gonna go. So let's show you, that's the SS10. And just because I love Patrice so much, I'm gonna show her the SS6 because I worked hard on that sucker too. Boom, SS6, let me scroll down. There's the SS6 version. And they're the same size. So SS10 and SS6 will be basically the same size, um, whichever one you decide to do, okay? So let us open up Cricut and let's close out um, Silhouette. All right, so I don't know where Cricut is going to open, but we're gonna open it. Uh, so all of those designs are on the website. Patrice, a girl, I've been trying. I've been trying so hard. I've been working. You know, like she taught me. I can totally do this because she taught me. And I'm not a dummy. Oh my gosh. Cricket is doing an update. I didn't know they was going to be doing an update. Um, so as soon as they're done with their update, Porgy became a YouTube member. Holler. Yes, honey. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, she look. I've been working my little patootie off, girl. Okay, so here's Cricket Design Space. Hopefully, they won't make me log in like they used to love to do to me. Nah, they good. They good. Okay, so we're going to go new project, making it easy for you. Making it easy. There's a new project. So then this is how, if you have Cricket, this is how easy it is for you to upload a design and cut it out yourself, okay? So let's upload, upload image. We're gonna browse. And then I'm pretty sure it's in my downloads folder because it's already in an SVG. Now, if you go to download the file off my website and it's a um, zip file, you have to unzip it. You gotta unzip it first before you can import it in a Cricut. So I just, I just need you to know that. All right, there we go. Got to go all the way up to the top. Um, And we're going to do Breast Cancer Sunflower SS10. See, look at that yellow thing. Whoa, that's a large image. This may take a moment. That's because of all these dots over here on this first one. But it used to be that message would be up there a long time. Cricket has done better. My girl Cricket been working real hard on herself. And I done told her about her attitude. We had a nice one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and so she's been doing better. Okay. So we're going to select that and we're going to add to canvas. We're going to add to canvas. Good night, Ernie. Hug the babies for me. Oh, why am I ringing the bell? Good night, babe. All right. So are you a Cricut user? This message is for you. I'm going to zoom out so that you can see. If you are a Cricut user, 
this is what you need to do. You need to select this. We're going to ungroup. That's first and foremost. Then we're going to grab this sunflower and we're going to hit delete and then grab the middle and hit delete. We don't need that. I'm going to grab this and move it down so that I can make sure to read this properly. This says each square measures 11 by 11. So I've clicked this square. What's the measurement? 11 by 11 is right over the top of the square. Then you come up here to confirm 11 by 11. You're good. That's all you need to do. And well, that's not all you need to do, but that's all you need to confirm. So now we're going to click this message, delete it because we're done with that. We know it's at the right size. And now that we know it's at the right size, let's hit make it. And you send it to be cut. That's it. That's all you got to do. And you see, look, Cricket even made the whole matte brown for you. And it made this one pink for you because it knows you're doing a 12 by 12 mat. And this is how big the flock you need to cut. And it'll cut your template and you'll be Gucci. It's not hard. It's not hard. You see how cute it is? Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. The only downside is with Cricket, Cricket my girl, Cricket my girl, she done worked on herself. She doing better. Love her. Lots. Okay. Even when she be going down in the middle of working on a project. But she's slow. She She's slow, y'all. She, she real slow. Um, and I don't like to talk about her like this. I just, you know what I'm saying? It's like when she cut templates, she be taking forever and stuff like that. But she still, she's she good. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. But she's slow. So I like to use Leonardo. And I like to use my Caesar Romeo. Or I like to use my Graph Tech. Now tonight, I need super fast speed. So Cricut is kind of like, you know, a Honda Civic. Now, not the souped up kind. I'm talking about, you know, the bottom, you know, cheapest one to get. Okay. That's, that's, that's Cricut. Leonardo is out here like, you know, souped up Lexus, you know, Leonardo, I mean, sorry, Romeo, souped up Lexus. Okay. Um, Graphic is out here like the Tesla Plaid, man. Like, room, room. Oh, wait, they don't even room Tesla Plaid. Don't Tesla Plaid walk anything down out here on the road. Absolutely love a Tessie. Okay. So we don't use the graph tech tonight only because I ain't got time to play with y'all or myself. And we really need to get this done because it's already 934. Okay. So let us cut out our template. So like I said, I'm going to use uh graph tech. So I'm going to show y'all the graph tech and what I have to go through to do the graph tech um, and see how that goes. All right. So let's go screen. Boom. So this is the um graph tech and i'm going to do this one this is breast cancer sun whoops, sunflower okay i didn't have to do that i'm just doing it all right so 24 by 12 is what i'm going to go with for right now but i doubt i'm gonna need that whole mat size so this is a 12 by 24 mat so let us import I'm going to import into Corel my Breast Cancer Sunflower SS10. So we're going to import it, boop, just like that. And I mean, Graph Tech and Corel makes it so easy. I can either cut this or I can cut this. I can do either one. But tonight, to show you Cricut users why I let's ungroup this. Hold on, uh, ungroup objects. I'm going to show you why. I'm wasting all of this flop, which I'm not wasting it, but I'm going to show you the whole purpose behind that. So let's delete my message because this was 11 by 11 and it is. I'm going to take this one down. Usually I would cut this one because Graph Tech can handle it. Um, and I'm going to bring this down some and then I'm going to put this over the top just like boom. All right. And that leaves me some space up there. And this is what we're getting ready to cut out. And because it's all one piece, it's going to 
go super quick. Not super quick, but as far as bringing it. Oh, no. Come on, fam. Act right. I should have did the whole flower. That's what my thing is used to. All right. So we need a 12 by 24 piece. Well, oh, sorry. We need a 12 by 24 piece of flux. So let us grab the table and get the table up and running. Nope. I keep doing the wrong thing. I act like I ain't been live in weeks knowing full well. Get it together, Eve. All right. There's me table. And I meant to take off autofocus. So I'm going to have to fool with that here in a minute. But for the time being, we are going to... Let me make sure my microphone didn't switch either. Because y'all know stream y'all be tripping sometimes. Okay. So let's cut. 12 by 24 flock. All right. Oh, gosh. Let's grab this big old roll of flock. Move this, move this. Here is the pumpkin template. And move this out of the way. Why I have that right here, I don't know. I've been trying to clean up my studio, y'all. I'm trying to do better. And it has paid off because I found stuff. <laughs> I did. I was like, oh, Lord, I've been looking for that. All right. Um, let's see, let's see. So we're going to go 24, a little over 24, actually. And this is what I'm getting ready to feed into the graph tip. All right. And of course, I don't have a camera over here on Graphy. So I apologize. One of these days, I'll get my camera life together as well. But for the time being, just know. That Graffy is over here showing out as usual, doing his thug thizzle. We have become good friends. All right. Now, if you don't have a graph tech, it's okay. Because the um, Leonardo software and the uh, Romeo or the Juliet, both of them, bomb.com bomb.com okay very good machines very fast absolutely love them you can't go wrong okay you cannot go wrong with either one of those so i'm gonna hit send and she said she gonna get her a roll you get your roll girl get your roll on all right stormy here internet choppy have a great night good night k i isha have a good night my love thank you for hanging out with us for that little bit um, I need the pumpkin breast cancer sunflower and regular sunflower. Miss Barb, they are sitting right there waiting on you, ma'am. Go right on and grab them. I tried so hard. I was like, oh my God, I'm doing this. Y'all just don't understand this excitement. You found number 189 on your bill. Don't know what it means. It is. <laughs> That's just number 189 that was the number that was the 189th bill that i sent out that's all that is um no the breast cancer sunflower is already there it's on the hot fix fix website um and the reason let's see let's see the reason. let's see let's see how can i show y'all this let's go google chrome Go Google Chrome and we gonna go. We gonna go. Good night, Barbara Bonaparte. Thank you for hanging out with us for this time that you were here. Let's share screen. Let's go entire screen and let's go the baby's booty. So this is our website, the baby's booty dot store. So if you go to the baby's booty dot store, you have access to both websites. Also, don't know if you know, we have an app for each website. We have a High Fix Fix app and we have a buy-in store app as well. So you can click on either one. Matter of fact, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show you. It's super cool. It's super cool. Look here. Is it going to focus? Come on, focus, 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 focus. 
focus. We're going to focus. There we go. See, high fix fix and the baby's booty. So if you touch high fix fix, boom. Isn't that cool? So we have an app as well. The app is in the Facebook group. I need to link the app on here. So if y'all want to get it, you can get it. But anyways, I digress. Let's go back to the website. We're going to share screen again because I took it down in my excitement. Um, and so if you come here, there's buy in, which is still going on right now. It's still going on right now. But it ends tonight. All right. But let's go to buy now. The buy now website. And we're going to bling now. Okay. And this is our website. How cool is that? We have stones that you can purchase and get right now. But right here at the top, it says rhinestone design. So if you click there, here's the breast cancer flower. And here's the SS10 breast cancer flower. And some other designs that I have put up there that I've been working really, really hard on um, and have them up. Now, I told y'all I was going to drop a bombshell, right? Bombshell time. We're going to do bombshell number one. Well, the second one, yeah, second one is kind of a bombshell too. So bombshell number one, okay, bombshell number one is we are trying to make it easier for you guys to do play with your rhinestones. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You got them. You know, it's, it's, we want you to use your rhinestones. We want you to have fun. We don't want you to be frustrated because you have rhinestones and you haven't used them yet. So what we've decided to do is we have decided to send you rhinestone templates. So you can order your template. I will cut it out for you. I will send it to you already on a mat. You don't have to do anything but get your rhinestones. It will even come with tape. I love you that much. I'm going to give you three pieces of tape that you can reuse multiple times to go with your template until you can get you some tape. This is to help you until you get comfortable using rhinestone templates. And then eventually you can cut out your own templates. Or if you're like, I don't want to cut out no templates. Well, you know, I'll do the template for you but I'm only going to do my templates. So you see what I'm saying? You kind of still need to do your own templates unless, unless folks like Patrice with Craftable Things loves you enough to cut out templates for you or the Rhinestone Mechanic loves you enough to cut out Rhinestone templates for you and he'll cut out his designs. Patrice will cut out her designs. Marilyn might cut out her. You see what I'm saying? Like each person has to cut out their own templates because I don't have, I mean, what? I can't cut out Marilyn's templates for you. That's not fair to Marilyn. You see what I'm saying? That's Marilyn's coin. I'm not touching her coin. That's her coin. So each person can cut out their own rhinestones. So now, you know, you may have some folks out there that's like, bump that. I'll cut it out. I don't care who they get it from. You know, they got to sleep at night with that and talk to the Lord about that when they pray. But me, I'm just going to only cut out my own templates, okay? So you can come over here. You can select the template and I will cut it for you. And I will send it to you. Now, some of these I'm going to have to adjust. And I'll show you why when we cut out our sunflower template. But for right now, know that these are the templates. You also can add on tools if you want to. If you're like super blingy, super new to bling. And you you just, I just don't know what to do. I just know I want to bling. Okay, guess what? You're already getting your, your template on the mat. On, on a on a on a cutting mat so you don't have to worry about mounting it or anything you just pull it out the envelope put it down brush your stones in and go from there right and you got your tape to pick it up but you got to brush your stones in so you can go ahead and you can grab our bone brush or you can grab one of our purple handle brushes whichever one uh we we also have metal scoops available for you we also can send out a wax pickup pin okay you putting together your own package then when you're done deciding what templates it is that you want to have cut out for you all you got to do is come right back out right back out again and get the stones that you need to go in that template fam and just put it all together and we'll send you your stones with your template and your brush and your scoop and your pen if that's what you want you see what i'm saying if you already got a brush 
you don't need a brush, then don't get one of our brushes. You see what I'm saying? If you already got stones, hopefully they're the finer thing stones, because you know what I'm saying. Other folks' stones. I mean, you know, I, I don't know. You know, I don't know about other folks' stones. I just know about ours. Ours is bomb.com. Absolutely gorgeous. Bling, even in low light, is just amazing. Our stones are gorgeous. So, you know, it's up to you. But if you got stones and, you, you know, you want to get rid of those, use them up. Well, guess what? You ain't got to order none right now. Just order them when you're ready. Okay. So here is our first bombshell. We're going to be cutting templates for you. Okay. So we definitely want you to succeed, EJ's daughter. Yes, that is definitely the end game. That's the end game. I mean, you can't have fun with bling and get hooked on it if you can't do it. You know what I'm saying? We want you to have fun with it. Uh, Jasmine B, yes, we do sell in bulk. So if you're interested in purchasing in bulk, then you go back out to the babiesbooty.store and then you can click this button down here. This is buy in. Okay, now read this up here. There's buy in is an option on our site and buy now is an option on our site. Buy now is the hot fix fix dot uh, store. That's the first website, but you get smaller amounts. It's not in bulk, but in the buy in, it is in bulk. You have to register with your email address. It's a once a month event and it takes around 30 days for us to ship the stones to you. So when you do buy in bulk, there's a waiting period. You have to understand that part of it. But other than that, fam, go crazy. Enter the buy in and get what you want. Order what you want. All you got to do is select what you want, put it in your shopping cart, pay for it, and in about 30 days, you'll have your stones, okay? All right, so here are options. And if you're interested in, like, for instance, we sell in bulk. So Patrice used Arm Dorado tonight. This is our Arm Dorado, absolutely gorgeous gold stone. It's a gold color, kind of like the Saints or whatever. Um, if you're interested in finding out what a gross is and how much a gross is, 10 gross is 1,440, 4, 1,440, sorry, 1,440, 250 is 36,000. Okay. So here's a little graphic that tells you the amount of your stones. Um, uh, but you put the box and it comes in its own acrylic box, just like, just like this. Okay. I know you can probably barely see, but it comes in a in a in an acrylic box. That's 250. All right. And when you get it, it's a good amount of stones. Like you're gonna be making shirts for days with that, with that. Uh, but that might be too many stones for you. And if that's the case, then we have a hundred gross boxes and you can get them in a six pack. Okay, so here's a six pack of a hundred gross that you can get. Really great price. Choose whatever colors you want. There's a drop-down box, just pick what you want, put it together in a kit all right and we send it out to you or that might be too much so we have the ice chipper where you can get eight different colors 20 gross in ss10 size in the ice chipper um or you can do an ice pick ss10 and this comes with five different colors so we have options in a range for some of everybody okay so definitely check this out. Um, and also in the ice pick with the five different colors, we do have that in SS6 size as well. SS6 comes with uh, 50 gross per chip, okay? Mr. McQuackens, we, we, didn't, we didn't talk about that, but he, he done made an executive decision that I, I don't necessarily agree with. But at any rate, I didn't forget to put the trolls in because I did what we discussed. So if you go, that's our bulk website okay that's the bulk but again by now is you don't have to wait 30 days you place the order next business day we ship it out roughly we may may take a day or two depending upon where that day falls it ain't no holiday and no crazy mess like that okay so what is the best quality cutting machine and heat press brand name jasmine b Ooh, girl Ooh. Oh, girl. Oh, oh, that's a loaded question. OK. The way I generally answer that question is it depends on your budget. It depends on your budget, because let me show you all what I found. I was like, what? Oh, no. Are you kidding? That's what's up. Trip myself out because I was like, oh, that's crazy. Hold on. Let me go in my description so I can click the link because the link is in the description. Check this out. Where you at? 
Share screen. Uh, there we go. Share screen. I keep forgetting how to do it every darn time. Look at this mess, y'all. I was tripping. Vivor. Heat press. Now, when you do hot fix rhinestones, we do suggest that you use a heat press, not that cricket easy press thingy where it's you press down with your hand. Something like this um, is, is a better fit. There are better heat presses out there. Yes. This is not the high class best heat press you can get. But for $98, 10 by 12, which a lot of our rhinestone designs really don't go but so much bigger than that, this is a really good press to get as far as that is concerned, the size and the weight of it. And it's a small footprint. 98 bucks. If you don't have a heat press, this is a good introductory heat press. But I would rather you say, and this is in the description, that heat press is in the description. But I would rather you save your coin and get a better heat press, okay? Something where folks will stand behind it and all that jazz. Um, even though they did have a protection plan, three-year and four-year protection plan on that heat press through Amazon. I'm just saying, you know you covered for four years. Just saying. So to help you get into doing the rhinestones, if you're not there yet because of, eh, okay, well, look, there's your heat press. We got your templates for you. We got your stones for you. We got your tape for you. We got your brush for you. We got your scoop for you. We got your pen for you. Only thing you're missing is the cutting machine. The link in the description for the Leonardo software and for the Romeo or the Juliet, though, that's a really good machine to get. It's much faster than the Cricut. Much faster than the Cricut. Okay. Only problem is you can't. No, you can go into Michaels and get a Juliet. A lot of Michaels have them in store. Mine does. So you can't walk into there and, and get you a Juliet. Okay. I forget what the price is though. So the buy-in now closes. Gail, you gotta ask Mr. McQuackens, Chad. He done, he done, he done. Loaded like a potato from Wendy's. AJ Harris, that is funny. <laughs> I'm going to use that from now on. Shonda got hers from Michaels. So if you were to get a cutting machine, I honestly suggest the Caesar, the only, the, the uh, Juliet or the Romeo. Juliet is 12 inches. Romeo is 24 inches. Big difference in size. Um, but you can do a lot of really big projects with the larger machine but if you're just going to be doing smaller projects then the 12 inch um cutter machine is good for you okay um if you're going to be doing things in larger quantities like we're about to be doing cutting out templates then i would say get a faster one the graph tech but that it's a lot pricier than the romeo okay all right, and you don't want nothing breaking on you and you want it to last. Ooh, girl, I mean, I would love to say that that's a given on anything we suggest. Unfortunately, you know how it is. You could buy a brand new car. But my dad bought a brand new car off the lot, y'all. Drove it off the lot, went four miles, I think, and that sucker broke down. Smoke coming out the hood and everything. He called that dealership. Let's just say they got that car back. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying. Oh, hey, the life, Ava. Welcome. Um, thank you for subscribing as well. So we have, um, our template is done cutting. So we're going to grab that off of the machine and we're going to brush those stones in. And I'm going to show you why those squares are at a set size and how that makes life easier for you. Okay. Um, so let us switch cameras and go over to the tabletop. I did not do what I said I was going to do. Hold on. Let's do this first. Let me come back to me so that I don't have to, uh, fight software today because that thing keeps doing what it's doing and I'm going to fight somebody. All righty. Yo, Romeo comes tomorrow. That is what's up. Hopefully I didn't. I just crashed my system. Let's see. Are y'all still there? I don't even know. Probably because I'm doing too much. Let's close this out. Let's close this out. 
Well, I see me over here. So, and uh, yep, there we go. So I'm going to, where is it? Where are you? You are settings. Nope, nope, nope. Let me go back to number one. Where are you? Autofocus. Oh, it was turned off. So why aren't you trying to autofocus, you stupid thing? Okay. All right. So hopefully it'll it'll not autofocus this time. We'll see. Oh, you still there? Thank you, Elaine. Boom. All right. Hopefully it won't autofocus again. Okay. Graphy is done. Let's grab this flock off of Graphy. And what time we at? We at 10 o'clock. That's what's up. Okay. So, uh oh, did I cut it over too far? I think I cut it over too far. Let's see. I may have to cut it myself. Okay, so we know what this is. This is the middle. And some of my dots didn't cut. But then again, look, I had it over too far. So I'm just going to do this number right here. Tear it off. So when you get yours, you're to be great quality. You won't have to get no dots out because I will do that for you. Don't I love y'all? Y'all and y'all know how much I don't like these dots touching my hand. But guess what? Guess what? I'm doing it for you because I love you. Because I love you. Have to mute y'all for a minute. Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Actually, I don't have to mute y'all. Let's see. Give me a second, y'all. I apologize. Let me see. Where are you? Um, okay. I sent, I had to send a text to the hubby. Okay. You have a silhouette that you can use. Holler. Yes, silhouette. You can cut these templates out with that as well. Same principle. Cool thing is because silhouette is, is just a really good cutting machine and not as <clears throat> the software is a, a good bit more robust than design space cricket. Um, you don't have to do all that waiting or whatever. You can cut whichever version of the template you want. You can cut the one that's not in a square and cut it out at the square you want, or you can, you know, cut the squares if you want to. It's entirely up to you. All right. So we have this one cut out and let's see, I'm probably going to stick them to the desktop today because too much all righty and this is now the other cool thing about this particular template you can um cut the entire oh, cut Jeez, please. well then you don't take me down right you can cut the entire thing out in one color if you want to also i love this template because i did not do anything super specific with this template so if you wanted to use this for, uh, I don't know, uh, any other kind of awareness, it's ribbons and hearts and a sunflower. So you can take the entire design and instead of doing the entire thing in pink with a brown center, you can do, you know, whatever the other awareness colors are and make it whatever you need it to be. Okay. That's what I love about this design. So even though it is on the website as a breast cancer design, that does not mean that you have to use it for that purpose. 755, hey, honey bunny, welcome, holler. Yas, honey, yas, 21 months, we love you. Thank you for being a member. We appreciate you. That's for certain, we love 755. Over there on that channel doing artwork with the babies. Come on, man. Who out here looking for the looking out for the kids? Hardly anybody. 
what 755 is. All right. So I'm all I'm doing is taking the time to do my absolute favorite thing in the whole wide world <clears throat> and getting these extra dots out of the flock. And I probably need to sharpen my blade to make sure I get these or pull my blade out a little bit more to make sure I get all these dots cut out. Um, and so they peel with the flock like I usually can get them to do. Now, they really do really well with Romeo. Like, Romeo will be out here. I mean, like, go Romy, go Romy, go Romy. All right. So let's get this, get this. I'm trying to get all of these dots out. And then normally what I would do is I would then mount this on. Um, normally I would mount this on a cutting mat. But this is a little bit bigger of a design than my small. I have some smaller cutting mats on hand, most of the instances. So, but because I got the square, I'm gonna have to use um, bigger mat. And I can't remember what I did. Oh, they're right here in this package, but I don't feel like opening it. Okay, so here is the sunflower part with the ribbons and hearts. Okay. Uh, Foxy Beeps, Foxy Brown. I'll have to look and see. I don't know. Is it offered? I don't know that it's offered on that website. It might be on the other website. And if so, I'll have to add it in so that you can put it on there. Um, and here is the center. Now, again, as I was mentioning earlier, most folks would be like, okay, why do you have all of this wasted flock for just this circle? Let's show you why. Okay. So I'm going to set this down right here and we're going to bling this first. Hopefully I just happen to realize I am bringing that damn bit of rhinestones over here. That just goes to show where my brain was today. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going fancy. Bump it. I'm not going to use brown. I'm going to use gold. All righty. So this is our arm dorado. It is a metallic. It's gold. Like I said, it's more like the old gold. Um, so that is that color. Where is my bone brush? I don't even know. To... All right, I'm going to have to use the purple one. And I fell in love with my bone brush. It's my favorite brush to use now. Because see, this the stones stick into this one. And I don't want it to stick. Let me go get me a brush, y'all. I don't know what to deal with my bone brush. Hold on. Because I don't I don't feel like fighting right now. Ta-da! Okay. Here we go. All right. Now. Like I said, yours, you won't have to um, stick it to the table unless you just want to. Um, but I would caution you on taking it off of that plastic mat because the more you take it off of, like, for instance, me putting it down, peeling it up, putting it down, but you can stretch your template. Um, and you don't want to do that. It'll stretch your holes. Um, also you run the risk of tearing your holes and we definitely don't want that. Did I ring the bell? No, you got a Romeo Miss Mimi. Holler. Yas, Romeo. Yas. Holler. That's what's up. Um, so yeah, your, we saw that your Romeo was coming tomorrow. I know that the spam thing, you know, we, we get the message. We might miss it the first time. Second time we'll get the message. Um, and once you receive your Romeo, we will ring the bell for you. All right. So it would probably be next live or next Sunday and we'll ring the bell. All right. And so I, all I'm doing, I brushed in the stones. Okay. For those who, who order a template and they get it, it'll be this size. Okay. If you pick the SS10 
flower. It'll be this size. So SS10s, I generally, you know, grab with my nails, usually. Um, I also have pickup tools that I use, like the wax tip pen. That does help. It's not my favorite thing to use, but it is there. All right, and there's that. And one more, and we're done. All right, and so I'm just going to rub my hand over to make sure we don't have any extra. All right, and so there is my Aurum Center. My Aurum Dorado Center, okay? And now, my next... Well, actually, we'll wait on that. We'll wait on that. Okay, so... Let's put the lid on. Boom. And here is, again, our floral center. So let me show you a trick, which is why the square is the same size. This is one reason why the square is the same size. Now, you, once you get the template, you can cut it down if you want to. I'm not going to be mad at you. I'm not going to be mad at you. Okay. So let me cut this. Miss Viola Floyd, that is something I was going to get into here in a little bit. In a little bit. All right. So I cut my flop. And this will help those who are having some issues with layering. Like you're not used to layering. You don't know how to do it the whole night. Okay. Let me show you a trick. And hopefully this won't backfire because I don't use this method often because I usually do mine in two steps. I pick up one layer, set it out to the side, put it back on the tape, and then I pick up the second layer. But this allows you to learn how to do your layers let me make sure yep okay this allows you to do your layers in one step okay so what i generally do is i get one side and stick it to the table not stick it to me Stick this to the table, okay? So I don't know if you can see that, but the plastic tape is stuck to the table right here. This clear tape. Because normally I tell you, do a U-shape, drop it down, commit, don't quit, keep going, and you'll have your um, your design for the most part. And people find that it's intimidating. So we'll show you another way. So you stick your tape to the side over here, okay? So you, you got your flock. And then I'm just going to smooth my hand right on over the top of this, just like so. All right. And I should have paid a little bit better attention because I did miss this little section down here, but it should be okay. But for right now, boom, you got your center. Your center is on here. So now we got to get this and put this so that you don't have two layers to deal with you will only have one so now we got that we're gonna flip this back Boop, just like that and you may have to put something like scissors or something on it to hold it down hold it back and i just stuck this to that like a knucklehead hold on this is not what you're supposed to do you're not supposed to stick it to the other template that's for certain But as you see, things happen. Just take your time, peel it off, and be careful because you don't want to disturb these stones. And if you do, even then, that's not that big of a deal. We just low key start over. It ain't super hard. And like I said, when you get your, if you order these templates and want us to cut them, you will get tape. Okay. Now, look, my tape trying to come off the table because I had to peel it. So, hold on. Let's fix this because I don't want that to mess up. I do not. Because that will mess up everything I'm just trying to show you. 
So see how easy that was? I just flip it right back over, put the, the stones right back in their holes where they were. If any shift, then just use your fingernail, push them back over. And I'm going to smooth this right back down to the edge of the table like I had it before. And I'm going to fill it right back again. Okay, so even if that comes off a little bit, just line this first one back up, okay? Now, let's take this template. And all I'm going to do is line this and layer it. Line it up exactly like this one is. Not moving this. Don't move this out the way. We're going to layer this one on top of this one. Okay, is Tilly turned on Chris Smith? Of course, Tilly is not. Of course, Tilly is not. You know your girl can't. I wish. Okay. Now, for some reason, this ain't want to. Let's see. Hold on. I don't know why. This is supposed to line up and it's not. So I done messed up somewhere. So I have to check that later because the way it should work and i'm gonna check my measurements when we go back to the computer but this square is supposed to be the exact same size as this one and it's not and i don't know why because like i said it's always gonna be something crazy on this show y'all i swear it is to make me look goofy but normally that's how that would work okay and so as you see when you layer it correctly the whole design disappears you can't see anything, but me standing over the top of it, I can see the holes um, and I can see the pink flock from the lower layer behind these holes. But you it's really hard for y'all to see it on camera. OK, so here is my. Um, top layer and I'm going to use. Do I have enough? You took the edge off some of the sides when you pulled it off the backing. That's true, EJ's daughter, but I still I still don't remember it taking the whole thing off uh, kilter, so to speak. I know I'm saying that wrong. Okay, so for the breast cancer top, I'm going to use Rose AB. Oh, you know what? That's right. That's a That's a good thought. Because the middle part doesn't matter. So I had this turned the wrong way. You're right. You see what I'm saying? That's why I love y'all. Because I was like, what? What? I know I ain't crazy. I mean, I am crazy, but, you know, I'm just saying. Okay, so if these are lined up perfectly, then this should line up perfectly. Because I got that off right there. You should want these to, they got the, they don't, they have, they should line up. Okay. They should line up. I'm going to definitely line them up on this end. Boom. It's off just a little bit. I don't know why, but hopefully that won't throw this off. Okay. And like I said, let me make sure that don't come off. We are using uh, Rose AB. AB, for those who are new to rhinestones, AB is um, a coating that's on a regular color. So we have Rose AB, we have Sapphire AB, we have Light Siam AB. And um, someone earlier, I apologize, somebody earlier asked if I had a list of stones. Hopefully I'll remember um, and can show you that we do have a small list to help you out of like colors on our website um to help you out but i i need i'm supposed to revamp that so you know i'm just saying something else on my to-do list um but as far as the a b Light Siam is one of our red colors. If you were watching Patrice earlier, um, you would get to see what that looks like. Um, but the AB coating gives it a little extra something. It adds a, a, a coating to it that allows when you look at the 
stone from one angle, you see the main color, which like this is rose AB. So you would see the rose. But if you look at it from a different angle, you'll see a couple of other colors reflected. And it just gives a really nice presentation of these colors um, so that you can see them. And they're really pretty. Okay. I'm not doing my circular motion with my brush. Be trying to make it just brush right in. All righty. Whoops. I'm going to do that. Good evening from Memphis, the Stitching Studio. Absolutely love it. Dag nabbit. So if you are not familiar with the buy-in, we try to um, get you ready for different things that you can use your rhinestones for to make money. If that's your end goal, you may not, it may not be your end goal, but even still you want to have your rhinestones purchased, you know, and ready for certain times of the year. So for instance, breast cancer month is coming up in October. Last year, we kind of, we were ahead of the game a little bit, getting you guys ready for breast cancer month with the buy-in. And we had a breast cancer treasure trove because we had treasure troves back then um, as a part of the buy-in. And that allowed people to purchase their uh, set colors for certain occasions. So this time, we we kind of stopped doing the troves um, because the picks and the chippers folks were dag nabbit. That came right off. So it's not going to let me show y'all what I was trying to show y'all. I'm going to try and fold it back because I do at least see where the crease is. Dag nabbit. I'm going to have to line that back up. But long story short, if it's layered just right, you can just flip this back over and layer and get both layers at one time. So I done messed it up. But at any rate, if you take the class, you'll see a much better presentation of that um, as to why. And that's why the squares are the same to help you line up your design so that you can layer them instead of um, having to figure out how to layer it yourself. Okay. That was the point of that, which I failed miserably. But at any rate, um, so Miss Viola Floyd happened to notice that. And that's the other, not quite bombshell, but that's the other announcement that Mr. McQuackens was alluding to earlier. Um, we are offering the breast cancer trove again. It's three colors. Um, it's rose, light rose, and rose AB, which is what this color is. And... It'll have you ready to go for Breast Cancer Month. And um, my version of the announcement is I have it on the Hot Fix Fix website. So not necessarily a part of the buy-in. You can get that now because we actually do have some and enough available. Because if you do the buy-in... Uh, the stones from the buy-in come in about 30 days. Well, 30 days from now puts you middle way through October. So you might miss your opportunity to do breast cancer month. So to make sure that you can get your breast cancer t-shirt wearing on, and have your t-shirts ready for the many different races and events for Breast Cancer Month, we uh, have the trove available right now on the Hot Fix Fix site, okay? So why is this not cooperating with me right now? Everything is wanting to act monkey. Stones ain't flipping over when things were going swimmingly earlier. But that's what happens when you go live. 
things act monkey. That was like something is on here. All right. So I'm gonna go through and check these stones. Okay. And put things in places that they're supposed to be. Take things out of places they're not supposed to be. And go from there. I don't know why this is going to act up. All right. So. Just one more thing to add to the list of craziness. So there again, yes, we do have the breast cancer trove. It is on the Hot Fix Fix website. It is live right now. Um, I will, since he is extending apparently the buy-in, I can put it on the buy-in as well. But the problem with that is, um, like I mentioned, it's going to be roughly 30 days till you receive the stones so if you don't have any of the pinks then that won't necessarily be very helpful to buy it on the buy-in website because everything on the buy-in website goes out like i said within 30 days so not really a way to separate stuff which is why we ended up having to have two different websites instead of one like a normal person Alrighty, so there's that, there's that, and you want to jump right back out. What kind of sense does that make? Okay. So, uh-oh. Oh, Lord, now he's going to end it tonight. That's funny. It's blinging hard. Yes, it is. Let me check my phone. I think he's just texting me. Give me a second. I got to put this in because it's bothering me. Do, 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 do. And then I can't stop. Hold on. Let me check this phone. All right. Oh. Okay. So yes, this um so big design. It has a lot of stones in it. I forgot to look and see how many stones it was because I don't work on so many designs today that I don't remember how many are in this one specifically, but this is SS10, so it's not as many stones. Um in the SS10 as it is in the SS6. Because SS6 are smaller stones. So you get more stones in the design. But it fills in a little bit different than the SS10 does. So that's why Patrice likes the SS6. And it blings even harder because you got more stones reflecting light, reflecting light rather back to you. Um, in addition to the colors of the stones. So... Um, we love our bling around here. But if you click the link in the description, and also if you join the Facebook group, we, we let you guys know when classes are offered. Now, my Rhinestone Beginners class is um, pre-recorded. So you can take that at any time at your leisure um, and make it easier for you. Um, you don't have to, you know, get up and be out of bed or whatever and make sure you're at the class on time <clears throat> for like we have to do for the live classes. You can just attend however you wish. So, you know, that makes it a little more convenient for you. But otherwise, the other classes are live. And that allows for you to join in with others, um, ask your questions. And if we're not too terribly 
you know, Swamp, we get to your questions and, you know, make sure you get your answers that you need to learn how to do the process that we're teaching at that time. And then, it's blinging so hard, it's got me cross-eyed trying to see overlapping stones. That's funny. Might have should have turned the light down. Even though it blings in low light too, so. But yeah, I hope you guys like the designs I made. Um, and I know you'll love the designs made by the rhinestone mechanic because his designs are always gorgeous where can we find this is on the hotfixfix.store that link is in the description it is in the description of the video but it's the uh, hotfixfix.store is our um website some designs are on the buy-in website as well this one may not be because i was running out of time to get designs uploaded i have some designs on on both sites but i try to put all designs on both sites that's what i try to do but um i didn't have time tonight to put it on both but it is on the hotfixfix.store All right, y'all. Sorry about this taking a while. I don't know why this is one of the... Oh, I know why I want to act up because I'm live. That's usually how that goes. But again, so for those who are joining us and you don't have a cutting machine or you don't uh, haven't successfully been able to cut out templates and or if you're just curious and want to try and see if you'll like doing rhinestones either way any one of those scenarios we will cut our templates and send them to you if you want to get templates and not uh invest in a cutting machine or anything like that okay and that is on the hotfix fix website not the buy now web i'm um, buy in website not the buy in website but hotfixfix.store where you get your fix of hotfix stones. I think that's all of them except for the overlapping stones. So let me clean those up. I used to think that just blinging was relaxing and I could bling all day and still can bling all day. But designing, making designs, yeah, that's. I was in the zone today. I was in the zone. I was like, I was in the zone like auto zone. Like, look at me. Okay. Da, 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 da. Don't see any overlapping there. Don't see any overlapping there. All right, perfect. So this is going to be a lot more difficult than what I originally anticipated because my tape came up off of the, um, where I had it stuck down because it just wanted to make my life a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. All right, so Oh, perfect. Perfect. On top of the heart close to 11 o'clock. No. No. And no, I don't see an extra one. It'll show up if I got it overlapped. I'll tell you that. It will show up if it is overlapped. 
And then that's what the tweezers is for. All right. So while I let that sit for no 100% particular reason other than to clean up my stones, let's clean these up. Let me grab my scoop. I absolutely love this. So if you order a scoop, this is what you will receive. I brush the stones over into the scoop and there's a channel right here. So when you tilt, put your hands up against the sides and tilt it back, the stones fall into that little channel and make it easier for you to pour the stones into what container you might need them to go into. Easy cleanup fix. Absolutely love that. All right, so if this worked like it was supposed to, hey, Teresa Sister Heartcraft, then we'll be able to pick this up and press it on a heat press that has not been turned on yet. Okay. So let me handle that over here off camera real quick. Oh, I'm going to have to show y'all what I did. My daughter-in-law came over and asked if I would help her with a project. And I'm going to show you what we did. I was like, oh, go us. Go us. But I'm going to pick this up first. All right. Ta -da -da. Oh. oh, there's a piece of something stuck to the tape. That's why I didn't get that stone. And one more. Oh, that's an overlapping stone right there. Boom. So now we have, don't you fold over on me. Now we have our design. One press is all we need to do now and put this on whatever we're going to put this on. So I'm probably going to do a, do I have a tote bag right here? Probably going to do a tote bag because I like a tote bag. And then that'll allow me to do a giveaway. And it's easier. FYI, 2,666 rhinestones, y'all. 2,666. I done messed it up right there. I'm going to have to fix it when I put it on the bag. But we're going to put it on a good old-fashioned tote bag and make a super cute bag that you can carry. Oh, you were sleepy? <laughs> I can't tell. You was... Um, you was super excited about that jacket as well. You should be because that jacket turned out absolutely beautiful. Um, So for those of you, and I should put this in. A, I know somebody probably has it and can put it in the chat for me. One of the uh, moderators or one of our friends here in the chat. Um, But this is near and dear to our heart anyway, which is what I was telling you guys last year when we debuted the breast cancer um, trove um, last year because my grandmother had breast cancer and had a mastectomy. Um, my husband lost his aunt to breast cancer. Um, I have constantly, my aunties have to get checked and they, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Breast cancer, we just have to be super careful with it around our neck of the woods. But unfortunately, um, we have some things going on in our crafting community um, where this is hitting even more closer to home. So definitely, um, I got a channel. I'm going to drop it in the chat. If somebody can drop that channel for me and go support our dear lovely crafty friend who blings as well and um show her some love because this is this is super important breast cancer month is very important um the pink that we use for the barbie mix i believe is fuchsia i believe but it's listed if you can find the Barbie mix, um, Malibu mix, and then Barbie mix, I think is what it's called. No, it's not called Barbie mix. 
It's called Malibu Mix. Um, if you look at Malibu Mix, it'll tell you what the colors are in the mix. It's the, in the description of the colors. And that'll help. But at any rate, so here is um, here is the breast cancer sunflower design that I put together today. Um, we have it in SS10 and SS6. And like I mentioned earlier, we also have a regular sunflower. It's super pretty with four layers. So you can, when you get your template, if you have us cut it or when you cut it, um, you can do the exact same technique and just layer each layer up, up, up and up and keep brushing each layer and pick up each layer in succession to get your um, template layered in one transfer tape. But for me, through the years, the easiest for me has always been um, to bling each layer separately put it on each layer on its own transfer tape and press it that way. Hey, uni honey bunny. Um, elevate artistry. You would have been brushing it again. I don't believe that. Uh oh, elevate artistry. I'm sorry. What do I need to ring the bell for again? I'm sorry. SB. I had a double mastectomy in October last year, almost through your treatments and reconstruction. Holler SB. Holler. Yes. Oh, you became a YouTube member. Holler. Yes. Holler. Thank you, Elevate Artistry and SB Prayers with you for continued recovery. Continued recovery. We want you to continue to heal up. And we definitely want anyone who, any of the causes, again, this can be used for any cause. Of course, October is right here. But it can be used for any color, any cause that you want it to be. Also, if you want it to, the center, you can make that pink as well. It doesn't have to be the arm dorado or the brown or whatever. That's what I absolutely love about doing the rhinestones. You can make it your own. It doesn't have to be what you want, which is so the original plan was to send out the templates. Andrea loves stitches. Thank you so much, sugar. Hi. Yas, honey. Yas. Andrea is our blingy friend over there in the Tina Slee area. Getting her hooked on bling. Um, the original plan was to send out the templates as a whole kit with the rhinestones included. But, you know, you might not have wanted pink. You might have wanted blue. You might have wanted purple for lupus. You might have wanted whatever. So you pick your own color stones, you know, and add them to the cart so that you know how you're going to bling your stuff and the colors that you want. We're at 194. I'm finna sit down and cut this camera on over here, y'all, before I wear myself out. Oh, because it has definitely been a long day cleaning. Let's see. Let's switch, switch, switch stream cam. Hello. Thank you, Dimps. I know that's right. Bless all the survivors because, whoo. It is definitely a fight. So let us, I want to take a poll. I want to take a poll. Let's go back to it. Oh, where is it? There we go. Um, nope, it went away. Let's take a poll. I want to see. Let's vote. So to speak. Uh, nope, this one. I want to know out of the designs available this month, we got one, two, well, there's some in the mystery box, but I'm not talking about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out of seven designs, which one is your favorite? Out of seven designs, which one? Is your ultimate favorite. You definitely gonna go get that one, even though you're gonna get them all. But which main one you gonna cut up, cut out, and bling first? That's what I wanna know. Periwinkle. Ooh, uh, somebody asked me that too uh not that long ago. That's like a weird blue. <laughs> Craftable thing said to know. 
I do. Ain't he cute though? He's super cute. Football, fall scarf bear. I love that fall scarf bear. He is adorable. Football, football, football. Okay, so you know you can make money with that, right? Patrice will pick the gnome bear. Jesse Gibson said the bear too. Dinosaur creative art by LT. The gnome. Love them all. Sweater weather. I'm so, ooh, that's got me thinking of going to the mountains, girl. Even though it was sweater weather today in the studio, I'm trying to tell y'all this house was cold. Triple tie. Triple tie. Nice. For those of you wanting to make money that game day, and well, actually, cancer picking the wrong chick, both of those, you can, you can really work these to your advantage. With the game day, you can use the team color. Like Cowboys, of course, you could use Sapphire or Montana. Uh, Eagles, you could use Emerald uh, or Green Zircon, I think. You know, you can definitely adapt this and possibly even put the number like Uni. Uni did a shirt the other day for a football mom. And she put my heart is on the field and the number to the baby's jersey out there on the field. So you could do the same principle and get the little numbers and put them right here on the jersey. And... <laughs> Go to the little peewee football or teeny teenage football thing and find out these parents' numbers and make don't don't play with me. Robin Gibbons, holler, yas, honey, yas! Congratulations for becoming a new member. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. EJ Zark say Cowboys thirty three to zip. I'm just saying, you really could work this to your advantage you really could lynn says the dinosaur is cute it is cute dinosaur is always cute um you could work this y'all i'm just saying and that's so simple look how simple that is you're talking about 206 ss10 smoke topaz 205 light cyan and 79 crystal now y'all know how i am about my math but i can do 206 and 205 to come with 411 and then 79, so that's 420 and 7, 7, so 490, I think. That's under 500 stones. Oh, Giants, not Jets. Okay, cool. Quick, simple design, you make money. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 490. Oh, I did good, Chris. I'm so proud of me. I did good. So, yeah, we have options, but some options you definitely can use to your advantage if you know how to work it. Wear your bling shirt one day out there. Just walk past the little Pee Wee football or the, the high school. Well, I don't know about the high school football team, y'all. Sometimes it'd be crazy, some of these high school games, but. In any one of these football games, walk past with your little number on and let that ball word be in the color of one of these. Child, please. And tell me you don't get no order. Tell me, oh, that's a cute shirt. Where you get, girl? I can make you one. Who your baby team number? Oh, my baby play number 23. Fam, I got you. I'll put 23 on the ball. Oh, really, girl? How to hit my wallet? Take the whole thing. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, yeah. So then when we come to where we at, that's that one. That's that one. So when we come to this one, which one of the new ones is your favorite right here? Let's go here because Tilly should be hot by now. Which one of these would be your favorite? Because we got autumn we did last week, I think. And since then, your girl been on it. Look, she did the pumpkin, the super swirly pumpkin. She did the dandelion. And then she did the dandelion with the heart to my spread and kindness. I was just, I was feeling it, y'all. I swear I was. 
we got the sunflower and then the ribbon sunflower. Which one of these do you like the best? I need to say the SSTM pumpkin. Hey, Karen D. Spread kindness, the sunflower. Yeah, that spread kindness I thought was super cute. The dandelion and the sunflower. Sunflower, ribbon sunflower. I'm still tripping, y'all. I was like literally picking and selecting each individual one of these. <laughs> each one of them little stones in there, picking them at random. And my husband was like, uh, how long is it taking you to do that? I was like, look, shh, that's not the point. That's not the point. <laughs> Pumpkin with silver orange and silver green. Ooh, that is going to be pretty. Definitely the silver orange. I, I need to see that. Sun ribbon, ribbon sunflower. Okay. Choose all of the above. <laughs> it was some work, y'all. But that 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 sunflower right there, the, the one with the outline, that's my, that's, I think I'm going to crow off of that one for a long time long time let me see where we at with our heat press because it's 10 47 and it's about time to log off now like i said don't forget that the buy-in ends tonight according to my time clock and for the confusion we may go a day or two but for the most part it needs to end so that i can get this order in we get these stones back so we can get y'all blinging a s a P. Now, what I did over on the heat press, because I did not switch the camera over, I pre-pressed the tote bag. I pre-pressed the tote bag. And the reason why I pre-pressed it, please, for those of you who are new and may not know, you pre-press your shirts, your hat, what, not your hats. You don't have to worry about the hats as much. But your tote, anything that you're going to use and wash and all of that. Did you say the treasure troll? It is, but it's on the hotfixfix.store. Hotfix fix. Thank you, Patrice. Thank you, teacher. She's my teacher. Um, So you pre-press it because fabric holds moisture. And glue and moisture, eh, they're not good friends. They're, they're not, they just, they don't get along too well. You know, so you want your adhesive, your hot adhesive materials to last a long time. I'm not saying this because I heard somebody say it, blah, 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 blah. Nah, I know of a shirt place that I was like, okay, pre-press your shirts. They weren't pre-pressing before. And the vinyl would peel after, a, a, you know, a period of time. And that was frustrating once they started pre-pressing the shirts, they didn't have that issue anymore. The The shirts were lasting a long time. So I'm not saying that because I'm just, you know, wanting to have something to say. I don't, I try real hard not to blow smoke, um, you know, and, and all of that jazz. I, I'd like to give you guys things that are going to help you and benefit your business. Because if you're, especially if you're trying to do this as a business, I be darned. That's why you have the finer thing stones, because this is for a business purpose. That was my main goal. And I can't have you out here selling jacked up stones to people. I just can't. I just can't. It's just, it's just, that make me look bad. I ain't trying to look bad. And I darn sure don't want you to look bad. So that's why we got you the finer thing. So I'm going to press this off camera because ain't no point in me turning this camera on and we about to get up out of here. Oh, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our lesson tonight and hopefully the bombshell can't find a Barbie color. Okay. It may have been, they may have turned it off if it sold out. Uh, but hopefully for those of you who are new and you want to get into doing rhinestones, hopefully the pre-cut templates will help you. But for now, what we're going to do is the peel reveal. And here is the peel reveal of the finer thing. The inside circle is arm dorado. The outside stones are rose AB. Okay. Rose AB 
and Aram Dorado. This is the sunflower, breast cancer sunflower uh, design. All righty. So for some reason, one of my stones came off. It's right there. So I'm going to press that again because we don't want a one dot out of a out of a thing. It, that heat press, I had it up hot. I forgot to turn it down, but it's no worries. Because we can always press it again. You can press again. Our stones is not an issue to press it again, but you definitely want to make sure that your temperature is where it's supposed to be 350. Okay. All righty. We're going to press this again before we end the show, but there is our tote bag. absolutely gorgeous i would give it away but we definitely want to show off these breast cancer designs as much as possible over the next few weeks because of breast cancer month being next week so i'm gonna give it a quick press to make sure that that one stone does what it's supposed to and then i'm going to switch the camera over to yonder and we will close out the show and i need to get me a uh I need to get me a, a one button switch camera type thing going on. All right. So tonight what we did was I'm going to do a Delonda real quick, a teaching D. Um, so tonight what we did was I took the time to show you some really super adorbs designs that we got in from Rhinestone Mechanic. They are $5 tonight for the next 24 hours. Okay. There's a $2 bonus surprise chest there as well that you can purchase and get some really beautiful designs there as well. We also showed you some designs that I've been working on over the last week, um, getting my design on, finally doing decent and absolutely loving it, y'all. It was amazing. I, I'm getting into my rhythm and I'm really enjoying it now. So I find myself constantly thinking of things that I want to create rhinestone designs off of. And so it's 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 been an experience that I didn't think I would ever get to. And so I'm grateful to Patrice with Craftable Things for that. Sharon Davenport, thank you so very much for your super chat. Holla. Yas, honey. Yas. <laughs> so we definitely uh, want to thank Patrice for that. Now, Saying so, Patrice does have a beginner's class coming up to teach you how to make rhinestone designs as well. Because just because you're doing rhinestones and making rhinestone shirts, you can make your own designs. And you can sell designs as well as selling shirts and making some money off of that too, okay? So um, that's definitely something you want to look out for in our Facebook group. We will announce whenever there's going to be a beginner's rhinestone designing class. Um, in the link below, we do have a rhinestone beginners class for the basics of rhinestones. You really need to take that class to really become an expert with rhinestoning. And that link is in the description below as well. Uh, we also discussed why the rhinestone designs come in those parts, like my designs and soon to be all of them and rhinestone mechanics designs are made that way. Um, and it's to be helpful to you, especially those who have Cricut. We want designs to be Cricut friendly and easy for you to cut without any hassle. So that's why they come in the different stages. For those who don't use Cricut or Brother Scan and Cut, you can just use the main design, break it apart, and cut it however you see fit because your um, cutter and the software that comes with your cutter can handle that many circles and that many parts of a design, whereas Cricut just can't. It has to be those bigger squares um that already have the holes cut in it okay so that is there to help you also for those who are new to the rhinestone if you didn't hear us earlier we now offer rhinestone templates that we will cut and send to you they'll already be on a chopping mat so you don't have to do anything but pull it out brush your stones pick your stones up and put it back up until you're ready to brush it again it will come with a few pieces of cutting um a few pieces of hot fix transfer tape so that you can pick up your rhinestone designs. You also, if you buy a design to be cut and sent to you, you also can purchase, if you need to, 
a brush to bling in your stones with, a pickup tool or a scoop. It's entirely up to you. You don't have to order that, but it's there at your convenience if you need to. Um, eventually, we will be offering chopping mats as well because I do have a whole massive box full. Um, we'll try and stock two sizes, but for right now, I only have one size. It's a smaller size chopping mat. Um, and then we also have our breast cancer trove. Now, in the past, the breast cancer trove was on the buy-in website. But because we we dropped the ball and missed the mark, we really should have been offering the breast cancer trove in last month's buy-in, but we didn't. So the trove is now on the hotfixfix.store website. So you can buy it now. It'll ship out right away, okay? You don't have to wait on that um, as if it was in the buy-in so that you'll have your stones in time for October and doing your breast cancer shirts. So that's one thing. Um, and now I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I forgot to show you the other thing that I made with my daughter and then I'll show the bag and then we will be done. I have also ramped up working with Ecstasy, my X tool, um, and been having a whole ball making all kinds of stuff with her. And so my daughter came and she needed, this is the negative of it, of course, but she needed, um, the word sweets cut out for a, we a wedding shower, bridal shower or something um, for the candy table. And so we cut this out in wood and she's going to mount it up above the candy table. So this was super cool. Never done a wooden sign before. So we did this the other day and it was easy. Man, we did this thing in like, not counting the cutting tub. We put this thing together in like five minutes, if that long. Um, and then the cut it out was not long either that was like maybe 10 minutes i don't even think it was 10 minutes so ecstasy the x tool the link for the x tool is in the description below there's a lot of fun things you can do with the x tool and so i've been having a ball with that but tonight what we did was we did go ahead look at this thing showing all the way out oh my god look at that look at that somebody come and look at this look at that good god look at them stones dancing let me show you something let me show you something so you show it this way, you can see how it's all pink. That's the rose color. But as you turn it to the side, notice how it's getting purples in there. That's that AB color, bringing out other colors in this design, kind of purpley. I love that. It kind of gives a different effect with that AB rhinestone. Angel B loves the, the AB color stones. And I can hear him back there, even though I can't hear him. I already know what he's saying. Cut the light off. Look at that. Even in low light, y'all, our stones bling. They are bling-tastic, if that's even a word. We're going to make it a word. Absolutely gorgeous. Love our stones. Okay? We love our stones over here. So, yeah, definitely check out. Get you some stones. If you get the templates already cut you can order the stones and that way you will have everything you need to get started even if you don't have a cutting machine now the only problem is you will need we prefer to suggest a heat press so that you can set the temperature at 350 degrees now don't get it twisted i have an easy press as well but what i found is with the easy press you don't get as much it is hard to get the right amount of pressure with this easy press. Um, whereas a heat press, you pull the handle down, you lock the handle, and there you go. You got, you know, what you need. But this easy press, you, you kind of got to push down on it in order to get some decent pressure out of it. But in a pinch, it will work. It will work. Um, but you may, instead of... You know what I would suggest instead of, I can't even get this thing out of this bag. I got the red one. Um, instead of pressing it for 15 seconds, I'd probably say press it for closer to 20 to 30 seconds um, to give the glue more time to evenly um, adhere, melt and adhere to whatever it is that you're pressing it on. Um, but honestly, the heat press is the better way to go. And we did link, and it's in the description below. We did show you a heat press that is $98 on Amazon. I ain't ever seen them that cheap. So 
that's me teaching D. Yes, it is. A B stands for Aurora, Aurora Borealis. Um, it is a coating that's on the stone, and it just gives uh, a regular color stone, like sapphire, for instance. Sapphire is one color. Um, you know what? I was gonna end it because it's eleven o'clock, but we might as well have some fun. Let's have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna ask for another. I'm going to ask for another 15 minutes out of y'all. 15 minutes. Because I know a lot of folks like this part. A lot of folks like when we do this. Hold on. Let me get out the candy trays. Let's show you the candy trays. For all the new people that are in here and have never seen the candy trays, we're going to show you the candy trays. So these are my candy trays. And the candy trays are all of the colors that we offer in our store okay so here are the candy trays so we have all of these colors and as someone asked tonight do we have a list i need to show you that too because I, I almost forgot um but each one of these candy trays has the color that we have in the store so for instance let's give you an a b uh scenario so where is i was just talking to you about here's light cyan i wasn't talking to you about that but i'm gonna show it to you anyway so here's light cyan and where is my light cyan ab this is light cyan ab okay so cy light cyan is reddish color this is the same color but it has a coating on it now if you look i'm i can see it right now every soul stone that you see in here there's that color red do you see it see how that shows there and look if i turn it this way you can see more but if i turn it that way you see more of the other let's let's take it to the other camera i don't know if this is the better camera to do because i hear i hear him yelling back there and the yelling ain't helping me out because i can't tell what he's saying so let's switch cameras i need to sit down anyways Oh, you don't see the football design on the rhinestone mechanic site. It is definitely there um, because I was on his website when I was showing it. So you may have to refresh or if you click on. I'm still there. I'm still there. Hold on. So this is his website. Let me do this to help help out. See where right here over the mystery box, see where it says sort by latest. Drop that box down and make sure it's sort by latest. And there's the football design right here. This is the football design. So you have to make sure it says sort by latest because that's the more recent designs that he's given. Okay. Hopefully that helped okay so again here is light cyan and light cyan a b so it's red but it's the same exact same rhinestone exact same stone but this one has an extra coating the a b coating on it so look when you turn it I put it on um, where it wouldn't autofocus, so forgive me. But you see how you can see that red up there up top now when I turn it this way? But when you look at it straight on, it's not that red. So it gives the stones a little extra something so that you can uh, see, have something different to look at. So likewise, what we did earlier was, let's see, is this one? That's tanzanite. Okay, we can show you tanzanite. I was going to show you rose and rose AB. Because here's rose right here. But here's tanzanite. And here's tanzanite AB. So tanzanite up top, tanzanite. Well, let's do it like we had it a minute ago. Tanzanite down here, tanzanite AB up there. It's the exact same stone. It doesn't look like it, right? Doesn't look like it. But when you turn it a certain way, it allows you to see that purple in there. But you got to turn it. There's a little bit of it right there. 
Okay. So depending upon the angle that you look at the stone, you can actually see that base color in the AB because of that coating. So that's what um, our AB is. Okay. So is there a color that you would like to see while we're here? We got another, I said 15 minutes. So we got another nine minutes to go. Is there a color that you'd be interested in seeing? I did find the rose AB. So this is rose AB that's on the bag. And this is rose. Same thing. See how you can see that rose in there? Let me back up some. Kelly Green. Uh, Kelly Green, we have emerald. We don't really. So we have emerald and we have green zircon. Let me put my chips back. So we have. Well, okay. So here are our greens now. Oh, you know what? Real quick. Really quick. Really quick. Really quick. Actually, let me grab emerald and green zircon while well, I'm at it so that I don't. Oh, we got emerald and emerald AB too. Y'all, the emerald AB is gorgeous. Let me show you real quick. That's emerald and emerald AB. So see how it's blue and then you turn it that way. You see some of the green and it's just crazy. I love AB colors and how they can reflect their main colors. But anyway, here is green. Emerald, rather, and this is green zircon. I don't know which one you would call Kelly Green. And then we also have olivine. So these are our greens. And with these put together, it kind of makes you think of, um, like this kind of looks gold a little bit. But it's actually its own green. See it? It's like camo green. That's olivine. Um, let me show you something on the website. Crystal light. I uh, forgot about crystal light. Hold on. Crystal light is right here. That's a really, really light green. Thank you, Mr. McQuacken. So that's emerald green zircon. See how that crystal light is. Oh, and peridot. I forgot about peridot. This is crystal light. And then we got peridot. But I'm going to show it to you here too. Because I, I need to show y'all this. Because I don't... I need to... I'm having trouble figuring out how to link it on um, the main website. Mm. Let's go here. And move stuff out the way. Can't tray in the way. There we go. Okay, let's share the screen. Because I think, yeah, present, share screen real quick. I'm sorry, but this will be helpful to a lot of people. Um, rose gold, I do have it right here. Let me stop my camera. If you are interested in the different colors and not really sure what colors is what or whatever, you can go to, this is thebabiesbooty.com. Thebabiesbooty.com, not dot .store, but dot .com. And you go up here and hover over home, go to rhinestone colors. And some kind of which way, I'm going to figure a way to link this on the store website, but I haven't figured out what to do with that yet. But I think I know what to do. But for now, here's our color collections. Here's the greens. So that's neon green, crystal light, olivine, emerald, and green zircon. And peridot. Sorry, this is crystal light. Chrysolite, green zircon, emerald, um, olivine, peridot, neon, and neon. So all of these, the colors are down here at the bottom. And then you can click the arrow on the side. It'll go to the next group. Here are our blues. So aquamarine, blue steel, capri, blue zircon, light sapphire, sapphire, and Montana. Okay, this is on thebabiesbooty.com. If you go to the next slide, I believe it's the, yeah, pinks. So champagne, fuchsia, light rose, rose, and rose gold. So this lets you see these colors side by side and help you 
you know, figure out what color it is that you're looking for. Um, next is our gold. So this is arum. This is uh, coffee, which is brown, but it's a goldish brown. Light topaz, topaz, orange AB. Okay. So again, thebabiesbooty.com, click the home button and rhinestone colors. Then I think reds is next. No, purples. So we got amethyst. Fuchsia is a pink, but it's a purpley pink, right? So then we got tanzanite, violet ice, and violet volcano. So this lets you see your purples. And our red. Candy apple, light cyan, and cyan. This helps you see the color differences and how the colors play with each other. Okay. We already showed you the greens. So if you scroll down, this shows you your colors with the AB coating compared side by side. So like here's amethyst and then amethyst AB. There's your, who do we have next? Aquamarine and aquamarine AB. Side by side. Here's black diamond. This Patrice colors right here. Black diamond and black diamond AB. So on and so forth. Okay. So we got our colors where you can compare and see what they look like and know what it is that you're purchasing what colors you need um we get a lot of questions like hey this is this team color you know what color matches that well if your if your team color is a green well then pull up that green listing that i just showed you that that set of greens and it'll help you pick what color it is these are only iron on maria you technically could use them for diamond dot, but most of your diamond dots that I've seen are, well, no, I've seen some round ones. So in a way you could, but this is mainly for iron on. Here's our crushed ice, which is completely clear. And then crushed ice AB, the exact same stone, but with an AB coating. And it will AB coat whatever color you put this on. Absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous it's one of my favorites the crushed ice and crushed ice ab because i can make i can put it on anything emerald emerald ab we got a lot of ab colors y'all a lot of ab colors hyacinth and hyacinth ab this is a maryland set right here making with maryland this is this is her this is her jam right here <laughs> she did good with her hyacinth ab shirt you're welcome maria Jet Black and Jet AB. I can go through these all day. John Quill and John Quill AB. Iron on only, only. Light Siam, Light Siam AB. Then we have Peridot, Peridot AB. Neon ABs are available in the Hot Fix Fix store. Frost Ice and Frost Fire, I do need to put them side by side. I don't have them in a side by side picture, uh, but I do have them in the candy tray somewhere. I got to find it and pull it out. Oh, you know what? Do I have? Yeah, I got it in the candy tray. Because I have the neon ABs and let me look in here. Rose and Rose AB. Here's that. Oh my gosh, Delanda. I done made myself a liar. Hold on. I know I have the candy tray. I just don't know where it's at right now. Sapphire, Sapphire AB. Just neon ABs. It should be with the neon ABs. And I don't see it. Hold on. Lord help me. 
Now I gotta find it. I gotta find it along the and I'll post a picture of it when I find it. Because I know I have it. I know we made them because you can lay it on fabric and see the colors. There's Tanzanite, Tanzanite AB. Buy now for a fire and frost ice and frost fire. Yes, it's only in the buy now for, for the time being. We do intend here soon to put the neon ABs and the frost ice and frost fire in the buy in. But for the time being, we needed them doing due to sourcing. I need them to be in the buy now for the time being. Smaller quantities, in other words. Topaz and Topaz AB. And back to Amethyst. So here's a few things to help. You know, it's not a lot. I do intend to put other things here, like, for instance, so that you can find uh, <laughs> dimps. I know, right? Um, so that you can find silvers, um, you know, all your basic colors that you would be looking for and how that works. That's what eventually we'll have a list of all of that. But for right now, this is what's on our main website, thebabiesbooty.com. Okay. I got to find my chips. Now, Delonda got me mad at myself because I know I got those chips. I just got to find them. Hyacinth orange. Yes, hyacinth is orange. Um, here is did I have oranges on there? I don't think oranges is in here. Nope. I need an orange collection. I got gold, but I don't have orange. So this is hyacinth. This is sun. No, it's not. Tangerine. This is sun. So sun is brighter. No worries, Delanda. Sun is brighter orange. This is tangerine. And this is hyacinth. Oh, you know what, Delanda? That's a good point. I see what you're saying. I'm going to have to email you. But here are the oranges. And we also have gold, orange, AB as well. Uh, which is really pretty. As soon as I find it. Because sometimes I take stuff out to show it from the candy tray and then it gets missing. Like my gold orange AB. I'm probably overlooking it though. Because I need to put things back in alphabetical order. Because people say, oh, I want to see this color. And I pull it out and then don't put it back in its right spot. Oh, we got Hyacinth AB. Um, that's another orange, but it's an AB orange. Is this it? Is this gold orange AB? Oh, never mind. It's right here. I was overlooking it. And this is gold orange AB. So these are our oranges. Gail, I like sun for pumpkins, personally. But I mean, it, that's the... That's what I like. You can, it's up to you. Whatever looks the best for you and what you like, your preference, go for it. Because we got a plethora of colors to choose from. Yeah, neon orange is another. Um, see, like I said, this is how I get my stuff all mixed up. That's how you're saying, because y'all having to do alphabets on the fly. Let's put that right there. And neon orange is right here there's a neon orange and now is the time for neons too um because neon check this out check this out you got uh orange you got the greens because there's gonna be a lot of black light going on you know what i'm saying yeah we have mixes as well on our hot fix fix store but you got a lot of black light stuff going on. You got these neons that will look real good in the black lights. I'm just saying. Check this out. All this stuff, this will look good in black light. I will show you. Let me see. It may work. It may not work because it's uh, might be too much light. But see how it glows? See how it glows under the, the black light? Can you see that? Let me cut. Oh, that was it right there, fam. Oh, I had it. 
This is this is one of the hardest things. See how it's glowing in my hand at the bottom? That's crazy. Let me cut the light off. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. A lot of black light going on this time of year. So all of these neons would be would work really well, especially with, you know, because this more dark times we even got yellow so you know come through come through i have got to rearrange this this is insane i don't like for my stuff to be all over the place <sighs> all righty i overstayed my welcome thank y'all for hanging out with me thank you so very very much i enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing what you guys do with the designs this week. So if you have any questions, definitely holler, ask your questions. We're here usually. I'm going to start turning off that instant chat, though, around about 1 in the morning because y'all be killing me, sending messages 2 and 3 in the morning, and I got slob and going on, and it be trying to type drunk and sleepy. It's, it's a not a good look. So we might have to, you know, have a window of some time where Helfer can sleep. But the rest of the time, ask your questions away. I'm here for you as much as I possibly can be. All righty. So, we appreciate you. Please pull the flock apart. Huh? What you mean? Send me a message, Chris Smith. Chris Smith, I've got to finish my bag. I need to. I got so much I need to do. But that bag is on my to-do list. So, I really want to finish that. We haven't gone over the colors in a long time, I know. And I haven't been able to show that part of the website either with the colors already listed on there. So hopefully you guys will appreciate that. If you have any suggestions of some other color, you know, setups and how to, map, you know, put colors together, just let us know. Uh, We're going to be putting team colors together as well so that you'll know what colors, you know, we kind of suggest for teams. You don't have to go for sure with what we suggest, but it's there if you're interested so all of that will be put together can you send us out with the bling video please your wish is my command <laughs> so i appreciate y'all hanging out with us tonight and i look forward to seeing you guys around in the facebook hoop group trenches so thank you all have a great blingy night and until the next time we see you we hope you have happy blinging have a good night y'all bye How would you define luxury? Your purchase of our rhinestones has put extravagance right at your fingertips. Here at the Baby's Booty, we are taking the standard of luxury and bringing it directly to you. Introducing the perfect companion to your Lux rhinestones. The Baby's Booty Ice Boxes. Our ice boxes are in the perfect sizes to complement your order. Each color in your purchase will be labeled and packaged in these elegant acrylic boxes ready to display your luxury stones for everyone to see. The Baby's Booty Ice Box, where our bling is the finer thing.